So Johnny, you've been with John, I mean Tyler, you've been with Johnny for quite a while now. If you were to give Johnny a grade on the game, uh, Stanford, what kind of grade would you give him? Um, you know, I'd probably I'd probably give him a, an NA minus for sure. He played his butt off. Um, I think he didn't really have any missed assignments or or personal errors. I know he was kind of tough on me, and I would have probably gave myself a worse grade. But uh, I think he had he probably had an A minus or, or B plus around that around that range. Matt Preem, two four seven Sports. Yeah, Tyler, I was going to ask what what's the things you need to clean up on? You you said you need to you give yourself a harder grade. What are the things you need to clean up on from week one to week two? I think there was just a lot of plays left out there, um, specifically by my decision making. Um, some of the we could have a lot of more explosive plays. Um, obviously, that one interception, just trying to force the ball late over the middle, and another one, and just uh, if, just trust my feet and, and hit the check down if if it's not there. Uh, things of that nature. Um, but on, honestly, I felt like we pushed the ball down the field well. We just need to we just need to finish it when we're in the red zone. Eric Scopel, two four seven Sports. Another person you're pretty close with is Ryan Locke, who was just out here talking. Um, can you reflect upon his journey and then what it means to see him earn those kind of national and conference accolades in, in his first start too? Yeah, you know, it, it's it's amazing for him just because uh, I've been his roommate for almost over two years now. And I remember those those days back then where, you know, he maybe he was thinking about transferring, you know, that it was looking bleak. Um, you know, he's he's getting the, the two reps with the center. Um, you know, then he worked his way up. Uh, I think he just always the, the big thing for him. He just he just kept his nose down and kept working, um, just knowing that he kept his faith in the process. And I'm glad to see it's actually uh, paying out for him. And you know he knows that there's a lot more work to be done. And you know and we're not we're not going to settle just for for one week um, and a win. So we got to keep moving forward. And I think he's got a, he's got his great mindset about that. AJ McCord, coin. So I'm curious of your um, conversations with Justin Herbert still, and how much you guys talk especially after your first start? Have you guys talked at all? What sort of um, communication and feedback has he given you? Yeah, yeah. He texted me after the game, uh, good job. And we and we talk a little bit after each game uh, about how he's doing. Um, and I, I got a lot of feedback from a lot of former athletes, and it's always great to hear from them. You know, I'm uh, really close friends with a lot of those guys, and, and it's good to have that, that connection still there. Ryan Thorburn, Register Guard. Tyler, you guys, uh, as advertised, did take a lot of shots downfield. What are the keys to throwing the deep ball and completing it? Because, uh, you know, typically it's a low percentage play, but your guys made some plays out there, and it seemed like something that was pretty consistent for you guys. Yeah, it's just about giving those guys a chance. You know, they're extremely, extremely talented athletes, extremely well ball catchers. So Coach Morad always harps on 100% of overthrown balls are incomplete. So if you overthrow it, then you might as well not throw it as well. So you just got to give them a chance, let them make a play on the ball if it looks right, and um, obviously, you know, you got to take your chances, and, and that's our goal is to have explosive plays. But if it's not there, we got to, to learn to settle for the, for the next read or the check down. James Crippia, the Oregonian. Uh, it's going to sound pretty obvious, but you guys were on schedule pretty much all night. Uh, when you see 9 of 11 on third down, and that's not a number that you're going to see very often, uh, as good as that is, what, what was your takeaways from seeing 9 of 11? It was, obviously, it was the run game, it was the pass game, but you were 5 of 6, and they were all for first downs. Yeah, I think that's just a uh, great, great play calling, great execution, and, and great job by I can't, everyone on the O-line, wide receivers, running backs, um, just, just recognizing what they're in. And, and, and that just came with preparation um, in, in the week prior and, and then just put, executing on the field. So obviously that's a, that's a, a goal we're going to strive for and, and not, hopefully not settle for, for anything less than that than, than good percentages on third down. Matt Preem, 247 Sports. What are the challenges with uh, Washington State's defense? This is a team that's always given this program a lot of a lot of trouble. Uh, they're a really talented defense. You know, they're they're fast. They they fly to the ball a lot. Um, you know, they run a, a mix of different coverages. They play uh, quite a few zone man. They mix it up. So I think they're they're going to come out ready to play uh, back in their their home stadium. So we got to be prepared, and, and that's what we're doing this entire week to to get ourselves ready for Saturday. Eric Scopel, two four seven Sports. Follow up on the, what you said earlier about a couple of years ago, tough for Ryan to kind of know what the future held. And I guess, how did you encourage him? How did he encourage you? And I guess I'll throw Alex forth, I think, and I know you guys are also roommates. But kind of how did you guys keep each other focused when playing time wasn't immediate? Yeah, um, we, were all, we were honestly kind of all in the same situation, you know, kind of waiting our turn uh, behind prolific starters and seniors. Um, I think we just all, we, took, we, we were leaders of that second group, you know. That's the kind of thing we took pride in. And, and, every, and with Mike and all those guys, you know, we, we, we were dominating, you know, our space and dominating what we could and controlling what we could control. Um, and, that just, and that just came with 
preparing like we were the starter because, you know, that's that would be our goal one day. So I think now that we have the ability to be in that position and start, you know, we're not going to we're going to we're going to run away with it and do the best that we can to, to work our butts off. Back to AJ. So obviously on the field is one aspect that you need to be a leader as the starting quarterback for this team. But from just from Justin, from former players, what's the best advice you've gotten from them on how to be a leader in the locker room and be that that quarterback leader um, that's sort of required of you? Yeah, that's just, I think, doing everything right and leading by example. You know, obviously, Justin was a, at least from Justin, he was acquired a guy, but he always did things right um, when it was time to work and, and when it was time to prepare. So I, I definitely learned that from him. And I'm kind of taking my own style into it. And that's just developing, you know, one on one relationships with your teammates and getting to know guys and, and always just being, being there to talk and have conversations with them. And, you know, it's paying off so far just to getting all these new freshmen because we've got a lot of guys here and it's only going to get bigger this team. Jerry Thompson. Yeah, Tyler, I think it seems like you got uh, ran the ball more the quarterback in Stanford game than almost the whole season. Are you relishing the fact, that might be a little of exaggeration, but are you relishing the fact of running the ball? And can you describe that run where you went one way, turn direction? Is that just totally improvisation or, or what? Yeah, I'm, I'm basically going to do whatever it takes to help to help the team win the game. You know, I, I don't have a, a certain number where I'd want to run the ball or not run the ball. It's just whatever whatever the coach calls and and whatever whatever's needed to get the first down per se. And a lot of those are scrambles. But in that in that one play where uh, in the red zone, it, it was some of an improvised play. You know, we were uh, going to run to run to the right, and then that guy came free off the edge because of of, of, a, of a call. And then he just we weren't really prepared for that, so I then I had to improvise a little bit, and it definitely paid off. James Krapia, the Oregonian. Uh, one thing this line was really great at last year was isolating uh, some of the middle linebacker or linebackers in general, whether it was Weaver, uh, Hamilcar. Uh, they were really ineffective in those games last year. Obviously, it's worked with a new group where you didn't get sacked on, on Saturday. How much is it? Again, it sounds obvious, but how does it, does it put you at ease knowing that you're protected and when you're facing up against a guy like a Woods or Rogers at the end from uh, Wazoo, that uh, that this line could do the same thing as last year's line did and take you know good players out of a game. Yeah, that just that just goes to uh, says a lot about their preparation in the week. You know, they 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 take their craft seriously, and, and, and Coach Mirabal is, is is one of the best coaches we have on staff. And you know that group is dialed in always. And uh, obviously this 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 line we have right now, you know, you, you pick your trade. They can they can play every position, and and they and they work really hard. So obviously. Uh, I feel super comfortable um, most of the time back there just because, you know, we, we know what's the protection. We know who's hot and, and everything like that for the most part. So I know they've been working hard, and I'm excited to see what we can do going forward. Matt Prem, 247 Sports. Knowing what a game is like now without fans, do you think there's an advantage for the away team now uh, without crowd noise and you don't have to worry about, you know, snap counts and, and getting calls in and, and out? I wouldn't say there's an advantage. I just say there wouldn't be a disadvantage. Um, it's everyone's kind of on the same playing field. Obviously, you still got a away team. Still have to go to the that place. Still got to get on a plane and be in a hotel and and deal with uh, the whole road game aspect. And obviously, the crowd noise is is going to be the same with the ambient noise in the background, regardless. So uh, I think we're just really excited and, and thankful we can play uh, play the game regardless and regardless of whoever it is or who whoever's in the stands. Back to James. Because you mentioned uh, plays that were left out there, Tyler, I, I'm not trying to nitpick, but you've mentioned it a couple times. Uh, and for those who've gone back and looked, the one to Johnny in the fourth quarter, uh, I think it was a first down where they, they had a nickel fire and you went there for the short pass where it's obviously it's the open zone. I, I get it. Um, but Jalen was up against a linebacker, had a step. Is, is that one that you look at back and say, oh, maybe if you, if you see that pre-snap, if you're able to, and, and what's kind of the difference there or – whether it was that or, or Micah getting matched up with a, a four-team corner and a true freshman um, that you guys didn't quite capitalize as much. Uh, are those some of the things you're referring to? Yeah, yeah, things of that nature on that play to where J. Rowe was on the linebacker. You know, that's just the uh, – we got to change the protection to go out to that guy so we're not hot off the end. And um, I just made that decision because I was hot and, and they left Johnny open in the slot to just take it right now. Um, but, yeah, obviously that just comes with a good feel for it and, and things of that nature, just making good decisions and – to where we can uh, have effective plays and, and not worry about, um, you know, what, as much as we're, uh, they're doing, but just make sure we're correct and, and just come uh, just on the fly. All we have for you, Tyler. Appreciate your time. Thank you, guys.